forward slightly roughy tufty new Fiesta Active fills a useful niche while leaving the standard car's character intact. What is it? A Ford Fiesta Active? A simple idea, and how sensible it seems. It's a Fiesta, basically, with all the four and a half star goodness that entails, only, in this active form, it rides 18 millimeters higher and has a bit of cladding around the outside to make it look more roughy tufty. Like a jelly baby wearing walking boots. Suspension is modified to suit and the tracks are 10 millimeters wider and tire profiles tend to be a little higher. The thinking is that, if you don't want a small SUV or crossover, and why would you? You can have a car that's a bit easier to get in and out of than a normal Fiesta, but will run up and down curbs, in and out of potholes, and on and off gravelly car parks and tracks without making you wince, and you don't have to put up with a tall, poor handling, inefficient proper small SUV. Tick the right boxes, and there's a more hard-wearing interior fabric. There's no four-wheel drive option, there are drive modes that change the stability program, not to give you grip, where none exists but to allow a bit more slip on gravelly tracks. You can have a 1.0-liter triple petrol or 1.5-liter diesel engine. It's the first of a few of these halfway to crossover models, which are probably halfway to halfway to SUVs, that Ford is introducing. You'll be able to get an active model of the new Focus in the Ka Plus 2. Ford reckons up to 15% of VS2 buyers will choose the active. I always did think the Rover Streetwise was ahead of its time. What's it like, taller? But only by the width of your thumb. Which is, truth be told, only as much taller as you'd want a Fiesta to be, because it gives you the confidence to just drop off a road onto a gravelly layby or a bumpy bit of asphalt without you having to worry about smacking the chassis onto the ground. There's quite a sense of liberation about driving a car like that, and I'm convinced that's one of the reasons for the ever-expanding popularity of SUVs. There's a sense of security and imperviousness to a proper 4x4, which the Active doesn't quite replicate, obviously, but it gets you a small part of the way there to a puddle and pothole strewn car park from where you walk the dogs. Or, if your lifestyle replicates the advertising campaigns, go kita surfing or mountain biking. Or it just makes it easier to get in and out in the GP surgery car park, a scenario that mysteriously never makes the brochures. Anyway, it doesn't affect the Fiesta's dynamics overtly. The right is a bit more gently loping than the regular cars, but it still steers accurately and responsively and corners as pleasingly as any other car in the class. Dynamically, it's better with the 1.0 petrol engine than the 1.5 diesel, quieter too, because there's less weight in the nose. We tried the 138 bhp petrol version, which is sprightly, but it can be, head for 84 bhp, but I reckon you'd want the 98 bhp version. Or higher to make respectable progress, the 062 miles per hour time falls from 12.7 sec to 11.0 sec. This 138 bhp variant has a claimed 9.4 sec 062 mph time and whizzes along easily. 
there's appeal to the torque of the 118 bhp diesel, but it feels heavier, less agile and transmits a bit of zing into the body. Should I buy one? Sure. I wouldn't always recommend a small SUV or crossover, because they're all too often lousy to drive and use quite a lot of fuel given their paltry off-road ability, but the Fiesta Active is a different case. If you only need a little extra clearance and stick the right tires on it, then, like, say, the Peugeot 2008, it'll get you out of low-grip places, even though it can't be head with a four-wheel drive system that would be burdensome to carry around most of the time. And all the while it's just a Fiesta, meaning it's good to drive, has a decent interior, good ergonomics, and, these days, even an easy-to-use infotainment system. Active models start at around 18,000 pounds, while our test car was 21,000 pounds. It feels like a useful niche, and I can see the appeal. Ford Fiesta Active X 1.0 T140 Specification. Wear nice, France on sale now price 21,090 pound engine 999 cc, 3 cell, turbo petrol, power 138 bhp at 6,000 rpm torque 135 pounds feet at 1,505,000 rpm gearbox 6 SPD manual curb weight 1,241 kilograms top speed 124 miles per hour 0 62 miles per hour 9.4 sec fuel economy 54.3 miles per gallon CO2 tax band 119 grams kilometer 22% rivals Nissan Juke Peugeot 2000 date.